let's talk about Unit 7, Auxiliary Views. Auxiliary views are not used as much as something like section views, but it's important to understand what they do. Auxiliary views can be used to show the true size and shape of an inclined surface. Auxiliary views are created with a projection plane that is not in one of the principal directions. So you can't say it's a left, right, front, top, bottom, that kind of thing. It's got its own projection plane. It gets projected from the part. So certain parts that have angles to them, like this little thing, right? We've got an angle right here. If we wanted to show, if we wanted to show this pocket, right, on a regular view, we project it this way. We're not seeing the actual true size and shape of that pocket. We would have to tilt the part like this to get the actual dimensions you would need to make it. So what an auxiliary view does is project off of here, right? So it just gives you the true size true shape so that you can get the correct dimensions for a particular feature. The primary auxiliary view is projected off of a principal view. So your front, right, top, bottom, one of those views. A secondary, a secondary auxiliary view is projected from an auxiliary view, right? So you can kind of go down the rabbit hole with these. If it's a complicated part, Say you have a 3D chamfer, you might need more than one auxiliary view to show its true size and true shape. Partial auxiliary view is used a lot for things like brackets, where you only want to show a little bit of that uh, angled feature. So say you have a long bracket with a hole pattern, you'll do your auxiliary view and then cut off all the stuff you really don't need to see.